day everybody welcome back to the dirty pat walsh channel on youtube with me your host dirty pat walsh so this isn't a dip video or nothing this is a straight up harmonica microphone review and discussion uh, yesterday uh well as I've said before, uh, I am a I am a proud endorser of uh, Bone Daddy Lo-Fi microphones, Lo-Fi custom microphones. Texas, can you dig it? Uh, I am part of the Holy Hell revival, and uh, very proud to be so. Um, yesterday I got a little package in the mail from uh, Dan Dempster, Mr. Bone Daddy, and inside it was this pill bottle, Bone Daddy's Lo-Fi Harmonica Microphones it says on it. So I opened it up, and lo and behold, fitting inside this pill bottle is the model that Bone Daddy calls the Yellow Jacket. And it is this big. For hand, hand comparison. Um, in comparison to the one, the microphone I usually play these days, this is a, the Bone Daddy Black Cat Bone, okay? This is a fantastic microphone. Um, that's the size difference crazy, eh? It's so easy to hold. Um, and it sounds, it, I'm going to plug it in here. Now, now, I, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a big gearhead. I'm not a, I don't have a nice harmonica amplifier or any, any of that jazz. I, I go for lo-fi battery powered things. And, uh, oh yeah, one thing to explain. Uh, this microphone, now what it is, it's a, it's a, it's a chopped 57, Shure 57, which a Shure 57 on its own is a fantastic harmonica microphone. Um, I used, you know, when I played with the Silverhearts, I would always have, I would almost always have a Shure 57 in my mic stand, and I would, I would, I wouldn't play holding the microphone, I'd play it in, in the, play into it while it was on the mic stand. So this is a chopped 57, Shure 57, inside a little piece of PVC tubing. And Dan, I guess by mistake, in, invented a system uh, that he calls the jack lock system, um, where it's virtually impossible for your microphone to unplug during a performance. Um, but the thing is, is it takes, it's hard to plug in a, plug in a cord. Dan said it takes about 60 pounds of pressure. So there we go. Got it all plugged in. And uh, this this microphone is so good. So good. I can't I can't even say. I'll just let it speak for itself. Now this is just straight through my little battery powered smoky amp. Right? This is like the, the setup I use when I go busking. You know, I put this in my shirt, shirt, or yeah, shirt pocket. And talking to it, you know. It's very, uh, there's a lot of definition with this microphone. Um, I, you know, I find my black cat bone to be a kind of a, it's got kind of a low growly feel to it, but this one has, still has that, but a lot more definition. And it pops when you, when you blow harp to it. Let me just pick something out here.
That's another cool thing about this microphone. It's, you know, now if I just play it like this, just hanging, there's no feedback at all. Um, but it's real easy to manipulate feedback with it, right? Yesterday, I'll, I'll do a video on this. Um, on. <laughs> I'll do a video uh, of me just playing this uh, through a different setup I, I have. I have a, one of the amps that I like to use at home here is a, a Dan Electro Honeytone. And, uh, I, you know, and I also run, uh, now Dan said, Dan said I should, I should, uh, consider using the, the, he sent me a, a volume control pedal that he built called the Side Bitch, and it's because you clip it onto your side. Um, now I have misplaced that, that pedal. It's somewhere in my boxes of stuff that I haven't unpacked yet. But, uh, so sorry, Dan. <laughs> I, I still have it. It's just, I got to find it. Um, but I run, I, the one pedal that I do use for processing is, uh, I, I have this little tube drive pedal. And this has, like, volume and all kinds of stuff on it. So I'll do a video showing off really what what all this can do um with when i when you hook it up to a pedal and uh a, a little bit larger microphone or amplifier <laughs> um i don't know i i just have i just i don't want to i don't want to have a big amp and carve it around everywhere you know the sounds i go for are not your traditional harmonica player sounds I think um, I, I really go for the lo-fi which is like you know that's why this microphone is so great because it suits so many of my lo-fi needs as a uh, for what I do you know I cut I can manipulate feedback really well with it that's not always easy you know with a microphone but this one it's like I'll show you when I get it set up on my bigger stuff <laughs> but uh i just only have 15 minutes to do this video so i, I don't want to waste it all setting up stuff but uh yeah the yellow jacket by bone daddy get uh lo-fi harmonica microphones i almost called it by its by its old name um i from what i understand the models that he's focusing on now i think he made a few of these you know what i mean and the model he was working on for a while was was these black cat bones or i mean that's this is what it's called because it's black right i don't know he has different colors for stuff but anyhow so what the microphone he's working on now is kind of like a mix of these two and it goes you know it's about yay big and uh maybe like that and has a volume control on it um, I haven't, I haven't tried one of those yet, but I'm sure it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, this microphone is, you know, every single microphone Dan sent me, I love, I absolutely love for different reasons. Um, you know, a, a lot, just the tone, like you get a different tone out of every single one of them. And, uh. You know, but this is a, this, this, you know, a lot of them are, are, are good for like home recording and stuff or, you know, like there, uh, there's a couple of them that I, I don't think I'd use with the silver hearts or anything like that because they're too feedbacky or whatever. But 
um, this is this is what I'm going to use on stage when I get back playing music on stage after the, the Corvid um, leaves us alone. But yeah, Dan, I cannot thank you enough for this microphone. It is it is a five star out of five uh, rating from me. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, suits all my lo-fi needs, you know? And it's so small and comfortable to hold in your hand. Like, that's the difference between, a, like, you know, sometimes it's just nice to pick up a harmonica and... You know, just play acoustically. And that's what, often what I do. But, uh, you know, given that I can just plug this into my my smoky you know and I always have this close at hand you know you get that killer tone It's just so convenient. You know what I mean? I it's amazing. I'm I'm very, very grateful, Dan. Thank you very much for sending me sending me a pill bottle of such such It's just a fucking great mic, people. Huh. And he sent me some cool stickers. Make no make things, make noise. Sent me a Bone Daddy's. Notice how it's going into the red there. And, uh, uh, and of course, the traditional Bone Daddy. These are all stickers. I'm going to go in my harp case. But uh, I got to cut this video because it's getting long. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm going to make another video later, I think. And... Uh, but yeah, you'll be seeing you'll be seeing this in in future videos, upcoming videos that I'm gonna be doing uh, on the harmonica. I you know, and now Dan with this jack lock system, Dan said it's like you know it's pretty wicked. Like there's no way this is coming out, but it is so hard to push the thing in. Um, it's not so hard for me, but I could see it being hard. Um, that he may not use it in the future. I don't know. I like it. I like the idea of it. Um, I don't find it. I don't find it a hassle at all. You know. But I could see how some people would find that hard to deal with. Um, but yeah. This is a great mic. Great microphone. Thank you so much Bone Daddy. And uh, testify brother. All right. I'll uh, I'll be back at you later with something else, but uh, hope you're all having a great day. Be well.